and he went for this one, and he got me, and then when I swung him off, he got his tooth in and he was dead. 12-year-old Jamie Deitch is in a lot of pain. I almost passed out when I seen the blood. But at least he's alive. Were you scared? Yes. What did you think was going to happen? I was going to die. You thought you were going to die? On Friday afternoon, Jamie was walking past this house on Pine Street in Ambridge when his neighbor's pit bull attacked him. His mother tells me it all happened so fast, there was nothing she could do. The dog broke its chain, broke its collar, and just chased my, my son down the steps. We called and stopped by the owner's home, but he could not be reached for comment. But we did get a copy of the criminal complaint, and the owner told police that this was not the first time his dog had bitten someone. He also admitted that the dog hasn't had his rabies shot since 2007. Come on. And here's what neighbors had to say when we questioned them about the animal. Hey, they've had trouble with the dog before, so, I mean, even the mailman turned him in. They say he's a vicious dog, and all that. that's all you can say. But you've never seen any problems with the dog? I didn't even know they were, the dog was over there. To be honest, I won't go over there. I just don't understand. Like, Tonight, Teresa Deitch is furious with the owners. I want them to pay the hospital bills, and I want them to put the dog to sleep. Now, I got it. Jamie still has nightmares about his harrowing ordeal. But it's not the dog's owners he's upset with tonight. The family's really good. Like, they're really nice people. And their son, I play with him. He's my age, and yeah. But you don't like the dog? No. Tamika Artist, Channel 11 News.